First up, the amazing Honda Accord that just keeps winning a place on the list year after year. 15 years and counting, we've had Accords in the 10 best. And every year, we imagine that some contender will best the Accord in our competition. But it hasn't happened, because the Accord does the job of transporting a family so exceptionally well. You get in the car by yourself out here on these twisting, undulating roads, and it just goes about its business perfectly well. Really, really nice uh, chassis dynamics, clings to the road really well. The engine makes a nice sound. It's quiet, you know, it's away from your, you know, the front line inside the car, but if you're listening for it, it, it sounds very nice. It doesn't sound strained. It doesn't vibrate anything. The car just does what it's asked very, very well. And Honda has kept it affordable with a price range from 16 to 25,000. Also back again for the third year, the Ford Focus, designed and developed in Europe for European drivers, but here to delight American drivers with the same great move. It absolutely does. It's a much more firm, connected to the road feel than the typical American car gets. And we're very pleased that they didn't water that down when they brought this car over. And this year, the base price for the two-door hatchback is still down at $13,000. But there's that hot new one coming, the 170-horse version with the SVT badge on the back. Or get the wagon or the four-door sedan. However you choose, you can't spend much over $18,000. So if you don't have a lot of money to spend on a car and you still care about how it drives and what it carries, thing's unbeatable. Now the newest player in the under $25,000 class, the all-new Acura RSX that replaces the Integra without losing any of the excitement. It's Jim Diesel's uh, new car. I mean, it's fast and furious. It's, uh, it's a great car. It's, uh, it's where uh, the youth of America is going in terms of their performance, and uh, it's going to make uh, some big waves, in my opinion. You may choose how many waves with 160 horses from the 2-liter 4 in the base model or 200 horses in the Type S version. And you've got more gears to apply that power with a choice of a 6-speed manual in the Type S and an 8,000 RPM redline to keep the action on boil. And then there's the road manners. The steering is precise without a hint of torque steer. The ride is supple but well controlled. The only thing you cannot have with the RSX is four doors. It's a hatchback only for this new generation that's significantly better than the car it replaces. Of course, we always expect the Acres are going to be good, but this one is just extraordinary. It's uh, uh, the performance level, the quality level, and, and also the price, which is amazing. It's uh, under 25 thousand bucks and uh, it's a, it's a great little package now the other new winner in the X names category Subaru's phenomenal Impreza WRX with the turbocharged and intercooled two-liter flat four winding up 227 horsepower the WRX has the boundless energy of a 12-week-old puppy while ripping off zero to 60 times in less than six seconds. And the combination of all-wheel drive and a well-tuned suspension endows the WRX with the grip to make the most of its power. Unless you prefer to play fast and loose, like a do-it-yourself World Cup rally contender, in which case, sideways is your game. But whatever the surface, the WRX delivers the feel we crave in our favorite cars. The steering is light but very precise. The brakes are firm and linear. The five-speed shifter is a delight. The interior is compact but roomy. And the styling is either funky or goofy, depending on your age. But we really don't care how big the headlights are, because everyone who drives this winter always gets out wearing a grin. The WRX is still the most fun you can have for under 25 grand. Next up, the category is sports sedans, as the car and driver 10 best awards continue. Well, the next group of winners in the category of sports sedans, and this year it's all German. 
First, the BMW 5 Series cars, named to the list again as the ultimate in high-speed luxury touring cars. Number one, it's got power. The six-cylinder version is quick. The V8 is blindingly fast. Number two, you can get both versions with manual transmissions. Beyond that, it's got a great chassis. It has the sort of handling we expect from a BMW. It's very responsive, very capable. But at the same time, these cars have terrific ride. And inside, the 5 Series cars coddle both driver and passengers with all the leather-wrapped luxury you'd expect and all the conveniences you care to order. And it's all wrapped in timelessly beautiful styling and delivered with your choice of power and equipment from 36000 to 75 for the ultimate version, the M5. So basically, what this car does, it does everything. It goes fast, handles great, rides well, coddles its passengers, what more can you ask for in a luxury sedan? Now the cars that are clearly the gold standard of sports sedans, the BMW 3 Series, named to the list for the 11th consecutive year. A win made all the more certain by the introduction of the new M3 as BMW completes the redesign of the entire series. This is a fantastic car. I mean, the performance is absolutely incandescent. The, you know, the sounds that it makes and the, the power delivery, and it's like driving it around a race car for the street, but they've somehow managed to take all of the brutality and all the harshness, uh, the kind of thing that you'd expect in a race car, and just uh, gently tune that out so you're getting all of the information pretty directly, but you're not really getting beaten up in the process. With power choices from 184 horses to 333 in the M version of the dual cam in line six, in body choices from wagon to coupe to convertible, and with pricing from 30,000 to 55, you won't find better choices for practical sport driving than the BMW 3 Series. Now the newest winner in the sports sedan category, as Audi's all-new A4 cars are named to the list of the best. Not as new as new cars get these days. All new body and uh, you know some engine upgrades, but mostly a brand new transmission to this market, which is really something special. That new transmission is a continuously variable automatic that has an unlimited choice of gear ratios. And it's the first that can handle the torque of a hot V6 engine. Well, the CVT allows you to sort of have your cake and eat it too. Uh, at any particular speed or load, whether you're coasting along or got your foot down, it gives you exactly the right ratio to have the engine at its peak either power or efficiency point. Add to that new interior space and luxury in the new design and attractive new styling derived from the A6 cars, anchored by a taut new suspension and controlled by beefier brakes. Whether you choose the Turbo 4 or the V6, the 5 or 6-speed manuals, the traditional 5-speed automatic, or the new CVT. The A4 lineup is now the fastest and most sporting yet from Audi in a price range from 26 to 34,000. How could we resist? There's one more category, sports cars, as we make the final awards for 2002. On the 10 best list, and now the category is pure sport. Room for two to enjoy the best of enthusiast driving. And that certainly describes the Porsche Boxster, named again to the list of 10 best in the fifth year of production as one of the best sports cars of all time. You can hear the engine when you accelerate. It sounds exciting, it wants you to drive it. Um, and I think the Boxster does that, in my view, better than any other sports car in the world. With either the base Roadster or the upgraded S model, there's plenty of speed to be had from the mid-mounted flat six Boxer engine. Coupled with excellent manual or automatic transmissions and restrained by brakes that refuse to wilt, the Boxster is a serious driver's perfect partner. Whether orbiting fast laps on a track or exploring the back roads at exhilarating speeds. The Porsche Boxster urges you on to carve another corner purely for the enjoyment of driving. And with two trunks and a fast-acting power top, 
This is a sports car you can live with every day in your choice of power and equipment from 43,000 to 53. Now, the pure sports car from Honda, the S2000, named to the 10 best list again in the third year of production. Thanks to the overachieving twin cam four cylinder engine making an astounding 120 horses per liter, 240 in all when nearing the red line at 8,900 RPM. Add a tenacious suspension that feels most comfortable on a racetrack, diving deep into the corners and backed up with huge brakes to make late adjustments, and you have the essence of pure sport. Everything about this car is such an exercise in balance and control. So the joy of a car like this really comes into sharp focus on a racetrack. But you can enjoy it on back roads too, just because it gives you that wonderful sense of connection. And that enjoyment is also available at more moderate speeds. With a six-speed shifter that moves with the precision of the bolt of a fine rifle and brakes that define our idea of perfect control. Then there's that incredible sound as the VTEC engine shifts the cams above 6,000 RPM. And in the third year, Honda's pure sports car is still available at the affordable price of 33000 Still a remarkable value for the enthusiast. Now, welcome back to the American idea of sport driving, the Chevrolet Corvette that returns to the list thanks to significant refinement across all models. And thanks to the wild child, the Z06, that now boasts 405 horsepower from the red-headed LS6 V8. That's taken our test numbers to four seconds for zero to 60, while serving up instant action on the highways or on the track. This Z06 car has vastly more acceleration out of the corners. It's got more engine power, shorter gearing, and it's lighter weight. What that means is it just rockets ahead when you step on the gas. And the other models are also improved, now with 350 horses from the LS1 version of the Chevy Small Block. And with new refinement in handling, braking, and with the help of a new active handling traction system that doesn't get in the way of an enthusiast driver. In any version, the C5s for 2002 are clearly the best Corvettes ever produced. And a performance bargain priced from 42000 to just over fifty. And that's plenty of reasons to join the other world-class winners on the car and driver list of 10 best.